Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be proving the angle sum and difference identities for tangent uh, in this case. And I'm going to start with the uh, sum identity. So we're going to uh, start with the fact that tangent of theta is equal to sine theta over cosine theta. And we're going to use theta is equal to a plus b because we're looking for tangent of a plus b. So if I plug that into all these thetas here, we get tangent of a plus b is equal to sine of a plus b over cosine a plus b. And if you recall from my angle sum identity video for sine and cosine, we can plug those uh, identities in here and we'll get sine A cosine B plus sine B cosine A over cosine A cosine B minus sine A sine B. Okay, and what we're gonna do now is divide each term by cosine A and cosine B. So every single term on the right hand side here will divide by cosine A and co cosine A times cosine B. And this is the same as multiplying this right hand side by cosine A cosine B over cosine A cosine B, which is just one. Um, but I decided to write it as divide each term because it makes more sense when you're looking at each term. Um, so if we take the, the first term and divide it by cosine A, cosine B, we get this. And then for the second term, this. Third term, this. Fourth term, this. Okay, and now we just need to cancel some of these terms in here. And you can see that in, do it in red. In this equation, cosine B, cosine B cancels. And so we have sine A over cosine A, and that's just tangent of A. So that's what this is. So we're taking this term by term. So the first term ends up being tangent of A. Over here, if you're looking at this, you can see the cosine A, cosine A cancel, and you get sine B over cosine B, which is why we have tangent of B over here. On the bottom, you can see cosine A, cosine B over cosine A, cosine B. That whole term cancels to one, and that's why we have the one here, and then we have a minus sign, minus here, and you can see that we have sine A over cosine A and sine B over cosine B, which is why we have tangent A times tangent B. And so that is uh, the final identity for tangent of A plus B. Now let's derive the uh, difference identity for tangent and you could start uh, by the same way that we did the other one for the uh, angle sum identity uh, by just placing in the angle uh, difference identities for sine and cosine but you can also do it this way uh, where we're going to use the odd even functions so tangent of negative theta is equal to if we just plug in negative theta for theta and the sine over cosine so we have tangent of negative theta is equal to sine of negative theta over cosine of negative theta and uh, from my previous video uh, on the uh, difference identities, we saw that the sine function is an odd function where sine of negative theta is equal to negative sine theta and cosine is an even function, so cosine of negative theta is equal to cosine of theta. And so now we just have negative, this here is equal to negative tangent theta. So you can see that tangent of negative theta is equal to negative tangent of theta. And so if we look at our uh, angle sum identity from before, and if we plug in an angle that we'll call B is equal to negative D because we're trying to find tangent of A minus B. Uh, so we plug in this negative D here and we have tangent of A negative D. So if everywhere there was a, a B, we'll plug in a negative D and we get tangent of A plus tangent of negative D over one minus tangent A tangent negative D. And using this up here, we can see that tangent of negative D tangent of negative d is equal to negative tangent of d, which is why we get a minus sign here, so plus to minus tangent d. And on the bottom, again, we have one, and since we have a tangent of negative d, we'll end up having this minus sign change to a plus sign, and we'll have this change to a tangent d. But the angle d is arbitrary, so we can replace it with the angle b. So we just take this and just plug in b for d, and we end up with our final uh, angle difference identity for tangent. Tangent a minus b is equal to tangent of a minus tangent of b over one plus tangent a tangent b. Thanks for watching.